This band's 1995 debut album is considered one of the most influential alternative records ever. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're speaking to Garbage about returning to the stage after seven years away. How would you describe Garbage's musical evolution throughout the years? Every record sort of has had a slightly different vibe, but there's a, a consistent thread between all of them and how we play a sensibility that we share. You know, we like pop music, we like fuzzy guitars, we like beats and electronics, uh, we like film soundscapes. Shirley has allowed us, she's such a, a strong singer that she has allowed us to sonically take a lot of different paths in Garbage. Um, and she is able to sort of adapt to whatever we do musically and I think that's, uh, she's definitely the MVP of the band because um, I don't know that, um, if I mean, even our first record, a, a song like Queer is a lot different sounding than Vow or Super Vixen and, and, uh, and every record uh, is sort of a roller coaster ride sonically and yet Shirley is the thread that has tied all those songs together mm -hmm. and it's because she has such a strong presence. Hey, you Would you say that your songwriting process or your music making process has changed in the years that you've been on hiatus? Well, it's always been a four-way collaboration. That shifts over time, but we kind of went back to how we did things in the, in the very beginning, I guess, on this record, where we were all stuck in, um, I don't know if you can see how small this room is, but it was actually smaller than this room was the studio we worked in. You're kind of forced to really interact and collaborate, and, and if you don't like something or if you do like something, you have to kind of deal with it at the time and you can't just let it go because there's no place to go <laughs> you're stuck there and that was good because it, i think it made for a more kind of immediate sounding record i want to talk a bit about what it was like for you guys to go back on stage and what was the reaction from the fans well, we didn't know what to expect and it was kind of intimidating, you know, we hadn't done it for a while. We just worked really hard rehearsing for weeks and weeks before we went out because we didn't want to screw up. And we went out and s still screwed up, but not too bad. And, you know, people forgave us and uh, we've gotten better and better. But mainly it's just a lot of fun. It's like a celebration every night. And, you know, there's kids waiting out all day in front of the venues and the crowds have been great and, they, and everybody goes nuts and we do too. How would you respond to critics that have said you guys are just jumping on the bandwagon of all the bands like reuniting lately? We had offers a couple years ago to play some shows for a lot of money with no new music and they said well you can capitalize on your name but we just turned that down we were not interested in doing that we, we felt like if we wanted to go back on stage we wanted to play new music that we loved playing and that we felt good about. Now that we're back out, the, the sort of response we've had from our fans has been incredible. We're every night kind of blown away by the sort of communal vibe we get. You know, it's very, it's very, uh, it's like an adrenaline fix in a way. It's kind of addicting to, to be able to walk on stage and get that every night. Mm -hmm.